let me jump right into the problem because Josh said I'm going to get stopped six minutes, but at seven minutes he might start telling me get out of there. So I'm just going to make it really quick. So the big problem in the healthcare industry, and uh, that is the fact that there are so many pieces of information out there. Like if we are looking for some specific information. There are all these different pieces. The knowledge that you get out of the internet is immoderate, chaotic, restrictive. Healthcare has become fragmented and siloed because of the different systems that are used in different healthcare um, areas. So that is one big problem of healthcare per se. But let's talk about a specific example. How many of you here are excited about keto diets or uh, vegan food? Me too. <laughs> I just started three days ago. So um, even vegan food, so shout out to Buffalo again. So um, the big thing here is if we go ahead and look for something, if you Google keto diet on the internet, how many of you have done that? How many articles and recipes and whatnot did you find? Millions, trillions, I don't know. But the problem is, did we know if these were authentic, inauthentic, we, we are not sure if if I follow this specific recipe that I am going to get on ketosis very soon, we don't know because that's not the most authentic source of information. I can go there and put my experience and say, this is what I think is uh, a keto recipe. It may not be. Who knows? I just found out cashews are not keto, by the way. I was very sad. Um, anyway, so the whole point is that uh, we have just way too much information and the problem comes back to either a high cost to get the right information or not having the right pieces in the right place, okay? So we came up with a solution. This is one of our few products. This is called Well Talk, which is actually a digital platform for healthcare, which allows you to get authentic, reliable information in the form of different media options, from images to podcasts to videos, articles, absolutely any form of media that you like you can get that option right here and you can enjoy it knowing that it is reliable. So we go ahead and I, I type in into the search bar, I say keto diet, I'm going to get the information, authentic information given by experts on here and then I'm going to be able to follow it knowing that this is something I can authentically follow and, and make a difference to my life. All right, so why did we choose e-learning? The big one is it allows you direct digital networking it allows you round the clock access. It allows you to be, you know, to have information and knowledge available to you at your fingertips. You really don't have to go to any place. Like, for example, just think about the people that are watching us on Facebook and Twitter. They do not have to come here. Why? Because they're learning it in a digital networking mm -hmm. manner. So that is that is a big a value proposition with this. Also, what we what we have found out is the stats say that visual learners are increasingly go growing and exponentially growing because people are, that are, now that the generation is coming in, more and more things are available on, on your uh, digital network and you're able to learn from that. More and more people are becoming visual learners. So they want to look at pictures and slides, like how, how many of you like my uh, Lego slide compared to having a whole slide written down? Oh, okay, I thought everybody's going to raise hands here. <laughs> all right, so that's about e-learning. Now, this is a question that comes up to us all the time, which is, who are your customers? The simple short answer to that is, our customers are you guys, everyone, the community, including healthcare providers and non-healthcare people. However, right now, our focus is nutrition, health, diet, uh, wellness, mental health, these are our foci right now. However, we are going to keep expanding and growing with, with one uh, you know segment at a time and just keep expanding to the next one from there on. So that way everybody, the community, has direct access to experts and authentic information coming from the experts. So fortunately, we have logged a very steady growth. We have been in the market about eight, maybe nine weeks with this, model, with, with this particular product. But we have logged a very, very steady growth, about 21% every week, which is good because this, and I, I really like to, uh, I, 
forgetting the word. Well, uh, attribute, attribute, got it. So um, I like to attribute this uh, success or growth to one, professional expertise that is available to people at a very low cost, community experience, because the community gets to share their experiences, like I'm able to go ahead and share my experience also, which is going to be curated. There are numerous media options. Like I mentioned, we don't have just videos or just podcasts. You have all kinds of media options. If you're a reader, read articles. If you're a podcast person who likes to learn or listen to things on the go, listen to a podcast in your car while you're driving to work or wherever. Or if you like, if you're a visual learner, you like videos, go ahead and watch videos. If you like images, go ahead and see the images. So you have all kinds of media options available. Um, it is extremely interactive, so it allows you to interact with the expert that has created that particular media option. Um, there are also cool features like Request 360, which uh, was on one of the slides, I can go back to it. But that Request 360 allows you to directly ask uh, questions to a specific expert or a specific organization about a specific topic and then they deliver those uh, answers to you. So if I want to know something from uh, somebody at the Mayo Clinic, I'm able to just type in my topic and say um, that uh, I need somebody from the Mayo Clinic and they're going to come back to me with the, the answer to that. Um, there is again direct, ac uh, ac direct access to expert advice which I just mentioned a little while ago. We are creating a free market for content creators, and that's why I'm going to meet Josh right after this. Um, here is the thing. So we all think healthcare is just about, uh, we are just about going to talk about medicine for people. No. If you're not a healthcare provider, but you like to make videos, immature, hobby, professional, whatever, you're able to do that and start making some money out of it, some income out of it. If you're an anchor, you can still go ahead and do that. And we'll get to that during Q&A in the detail of that because Josh there is showing me the watch, so I need to get going here. Um, so how many of you are storytellers? How many of you like to tell stories or listen to stories? There you go. <laughs> wow, okay, that was a much better response than my Lego slide, all right. So uh, yes, if you have a story, please go ahead, share it. Do you have a story to tell? Again, I'm going to answer the question that I asked in my last presentation. Anybody take a guess, taking a guess on why this slide looks like it does? Yes, it, is, it represents one million cups. Tell your story. I'm telling my story, now you tell your story. All right, our next steps, we are uh, currently focused on brand awareness, loyalty, and building more and more resources to grow and scale exponentially. We are a completely self-funded company uh, so far which is daunting, but extremely exhilarating and exciting. But now, we are, we are, what we have realized is this company and this product has humongous potential. So we need to make sure that we scale it exponentially to its full potential. And that is why we are now looking into investments. I'm not asking anyone for investments, disclaimer. However, we are looking for investments at this time. All right, so I'll uh, end with saying, keep connecting, keep learning, and keep educating. Thank you very much. I am going to uh, play a video in the background, if that's okay, while we are doing Q&A, so people can keep looking at it. Okay, wonderful. Big round of applause. Thank you. All right, so we are going to do some Q&A, but because we're live streaming, I do need the questions to go into the microphone. So when you guys have a question, raise your hand, and if I point at you, that means that I know that uh, you're coming up next, and I'll make sure that you get a, uh, the, the microphone. Um, when, when it comes time. The honor of the first question always comes to uh, one of our organizers and we always ask the exact same question, which is what can we as a community do for you? All right, so thank you for that. First of all, thank you to all of you for being here this morning. I know it was not fun waking up early morning and coming and listening to somebody like that. But the big thing is we need the support from our community. How? We want you all to sign up, enjoy it. Sign up is free, by the way. So go ahead, sign up, enjoy it. But the seven, there is a seven day free trial also for all the levels of service. And give us feedback. Please use um, any of our social media pages or use the One Million Cup Sacramento application to give us feedback. Tell us how we can serve the community even better than what we are trying to do right now. Um, our, our biggest thing, if we've gone around, we are going around the country consistently to make sure that we are getting feedback back from each 
uh, community because every community has different requirements, different expectations. We are trying to build this product for the entire community. Let's uh, make sure that we have our feedback so we can we can make sure that you get what you are looking for. Hi. Um, I, I really, really like your idea. It's uh, fantastic. Um, I like to start with health and wellness because every everyone really likes that. Um, how do how do we trust the uh, the vetting that you do? How how do, how does how how are the consumers of it going to know that you've got a reliable source? Like Wikipedia looks, everyone looks at entries there, so there's vetting going on or trust of what the information is. How are we going to trust what you have is, as trusted sources? Sorry, no, no just technical. Just technical difficulties. Oh, okay, no problem. All right, so uh, this is a question that comes to us every time. The big thing with our uh, content here, we curate it with a whole editorial board. And if you go to our website, in the footer, you'll see an editorial board where there are all these experts, healthcare experts, who go through the videos or whatever media is submitted. Unless they have gone through it. So if you post something right now, you will not be able to see it on the platform. It takes about 24 hours for the team to go ahead and uh, screen it for authenticity before it is put out. Uh, more so for the community, because sometimes it can be my experience, but not necessarily the most accurate medically. So we have to, the healthcare team has to screen it to uh, authenticate it to put it on the website. So that's how we do it. We are also, um, another question that comes up in the same context is, Right now, you've, you're just nine weeks old. What will happen when you have millions and millions of media? How are you going to screen it? So we are developing an algorithm currently right now where, one, there is flagging of content. Two, there is allocation of content to different uh, healthcare providers who have, who have and will be signing up to this um, platform to verify and vet the information. So that's how we are going to be able to screen everything. So whatever comes out and uh, you see is going to be absolutely reliable. Yes, unless, uh, unless the information is authentic, it will not be seen on the platform. The, the, the media gets declined if, there is, uh, if it is not um, authentic. Uh, Dr. V, do you want to? Yeah. And you know, uh, that was a great question, and she kind of highlighted everything. However, if you dig up a little more on this website, we are trying to make sure we form a great network of people who are certified board certified physicians nurses. board certified nurses nutritionists nutritionist, and so on and so forth so that kind of if somebody's board is certified we expect that answer coming from them is expert advice so. yes that's right one more thing is also uh, we are also adding a new thing to it which says that if uh, you have to, in the user agreement, when you put the video or the uh, media out, you have to make sure that you verify that it is updated and accurate. So if I put something from 20 years ago, it may not be accurate today, evidence-based. So you have to make sure that it is constantly uh, updated. So that's, that's another thing. So you're getting the latest, most updated medical information. Yes, please. So, okay, so I'm looking at your, your site. Um, what's your plans on, like, monetization for these, um, for these people that's actually going to be signing up for it? Because I know there's going to be a lot of people that probably want to give out information. I know you guys, you know, have certain items blocked off that where it's basic videos and you have premium. How are you going to pay these um, people that's actually putting these videos up on here? Because... Yeah, I know you talked a little bit about it, but uh, I just, you know, I didn't really hear too much about how you're going to pay the people that's going to be putting it. All right, so uh, right now our revenue stream, our revenue stream is subscriptions, as you can already see. Uh, there are three different kinds of subscriptions. One is called the silver subscription, which is for 99 cents a month. Um, this subscription allows you access to videos. Um, it allows you a request 360, which is a request to experts. However, it doesn't guarantee the request to be fulfilled. Then you go to the next level, which is the gold level. 
that is where you are getting everything from silver and getting a priority access to request 360 which means that if i'm a silver member and you're a gold member and both of us put a request and we have a uh, like a given um, a number of videos we can do your request will be honored mine will not and that's an understanding i have when i sign up to silver uh, then there is a big jump which is going to be the 49.99 now this is the fun one this has something called v concierge in it what is the concierge basically your personal healthcare assistant what that is doing is uh, a lot of times when we are in need of any kind of healthcare service we have to go to google find so many people call them get appointments maybe not know about whether they are carrying our insurance etc so on and so forth we all know the problems of uh, setting up appointments then the time and everything so what we are doing here is we have a whole team of concierges that allow you to call them or fill out the concierge form that's available there you're able to tell them what you're looking for for example I'm looking for a nutritionist in the area that is really um, good now what if I'm a concierge what I do is I go ahead and take your request and I search that area for who are the good nutritionists there who um, takes your insurance what is the copay going to be if you go to nutritionist A versus nutritionist B? Same thing with pharmacies. Um, if you're looking for drug, specific drug, medicine, uh, some pharmacies, and I have had this experience myself, where I was paying every month $120 for a prescription. Turns out one month we did not have the prescription. They did not have it in stock for some reason. So I had to go to another pharmacy. I paid $30. Guess how I felt? horrible because I was paying 90 extra dollars every month not knowing that something cheaper existed I could have saved 90 dollars every month like that was four months of prescription for me no no that's not how we are going to be pay paying the healthcare providers uh, there is a team and then there is a uh, doctors on call uh, in the back uh, so this is not telemedicine again so we are not going to give you any prescriptions on the phone however there will be doctors on call who will be able to give you advice that you can follow and you can uh, talk to your provider or talk to the provider that you've been referred to the revenue stream for everybody else like you're thinking if I put up a video what is my revenue stream that is if you put up a video as a healthcare provider as a content creator then you're making 10 percent of the number of views that you get so if you get 100,000 views to your video, you're going to make $10,000. Because then you have those subscriptions coming in for those 10,000 views that are 10, 100,000. Yes. If you are a videographer or an anchor, you're making 5% of the views. So if you, if you have 100,000 views, you're making $5,000 right there. So those are the ways that we are making sure that we are creating that free market I was talking about where people are able to uh, add content and make income, get some sort of an incentive at the same time, we are also benefiting from the content that is being added. Again, it has to be authentic and has to add value to the community. Do you want to add anything? No, it's a free marketplace for people who are either uh, experts, like nutritionists and doctors and so on and so forth. Uh, second, for videographers who are interested in videography and who can you know, make a good living out of it. And third is anchors or people who want to or wish to be anchors or videographers because they, it's it's that's that's kind of right you're absolutely right yeah and we were very successful in making it in in fairly good amount of time so yeah and uh, the network will also right now we're just talking about the network um, about the the customers or the clients uh, the network is also going to include insurance companies pharmacies uh, I mean everything so basically I talked about the silos in healthcare which is a problem everybody is an independent entity and somehow you have to connect them to to your advantage what we are trying to do is we are trying to create that network for you so when you enter that bubble you have everything in one one place and that's why I called it a one-stop shop too and the eventual goal of the the whole company is digital health yes. uh, the second a critical thing is uh, kind of you know it's a complementary uh, service to uh, providers as well as people who are I mean hospitals 
uh, as well as pharmacies and so on. Any, anything that is related to healthcare, it's a complementary platform, not a destructive platform. By so it's going to add. It's going to add. Yeah. Supplementing what they're doing. So it's kind of more going to add value to them, to their clients. And what. All right. Who is your customer and who is not your customer? Fun question. Everyone is our customer. Like if, if you ask me a question, who is not your customer, I don't have an answer to that because there is just nobody on this earth who does not okay. need health care. Um, yes. If you're, below, if you're below 16, then yes, you're not our customer. <laughs> well, your parents can be and you can be on the family plan. Right. So, <laughs> Yes. Mm -hmm. So we have family plans coming up here very soon. So uh, the entire family can be on one plan and they can, uh, if they have, like I have a two-year-old and an eight-year-old, I was just talking to them. Um, so yes, I can have my kids on that plan. Yeah, tell me about that. I actually want to push back a little bit, if I can, on that. So you said everybody needs it, and I don't question that. But I didn't ask who needs it, I asked who your customer was. And those aren't the same thing. Because there's a whole group of people, there's, there's actually something we call the early adopter pyramid, right? That you look at that the bottom rung is everybody who has the problem, but then the rung above that is everybody who knows they have the problem, right? And then there's rungs above that. But so like there's a distinction that we draw between those two groups. And I think also, not everybody who is looking for answers wants your answers. So let me give you an example. So particularly when you're talking about uh, something in the healthcare space, you have people like me who are extremely evidence-based or extremely Bayesian when it comes to those kinds of things. So if I go to a site that gives me something that doesn't align with the systematic reviews that I would find on PubMed, I'm out of there, right? And so, but there's a whole group of people that probably outnumber me that are in the opposite camp, right? And you can't serve both of those two groups. So that's what I want to come back to, like who is your customer? And the reason that I'm asking is that, um, when it comes time to actually go to market and start finding people, you're going to have a limited budget that you can use to try to capture them, and so you can't target everybody. So tell me a little bit more about, Alexander, who's the customer, who are you really targeting, who are you really not, and then how are you actually going after them as far as like go to market? So that's great. So our customer, if I have to pinpoint at this time, is going to be more nutrition, wellness, health, mental health, so on and so forth. Now, I agree with you saying that there are PubMed people and then there are Google people. However, let's think about it this way. How many people do you think, and I'm not, I'm not yet comparing ourselves with Amazon. However, who is Amazon's customer? Everyone shops on Amazon, right? Amazon started with books, so we are starting with nutrition. But today, every single person is using Amazon in almost every country that allows it. So that's our goal. And that's why I'm saying that our customer is everyone. And going back to my statement of everybody needs healthcare, he loves to say it, I'm going to say it for you. Uh, you need healthcare since the time you're conceived to the time one is alive, to your last breath. You're going to need healthcare in some way or the other. So yes, I will still stick to the fact that everyone is our customer. However, our target segment at this time is nutrition, health, wellness, mental health. Millennials, like, I'll tell you what. I, keto diet, to give you an example because I've been talking about it all this time, I was not an early adopter. I did not believe in keto diet. But then, once I figured out that there is some authenticity in it, I went ahead and three days back, went on keto diet. Why? Because I found the evidence that it works. And where did I find the evidence? From my peers, my family, my friends. I did not, I mean, PubMed is a great resource, but I did not go to PubMed because, think about this, everybody, you probably like to read, so articles are for you, by the way, just saying. Um, <laughs> but uh, there are so many people who do not have the time or do not like to sit and read PubMed, but they want to just quickly go to um, a segment where they can quickly view it. The videos are up to six minutes long, so you're not sitting there for two hours looking at it. So, so that's the. Is, does that answer your question, Josh, or would you would you want to want me to go even more specific? Uh, 
and and uh, and we will be here uh, after this. So if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out. Like what you were saying about having an Amazon of like healthcare, like to me that kind of like being kind of makes sense because Amazon is built with all these individual people who are sellers and companies and they come in this place to share information. And I'm particularly sensitive about the healthcare crisis in African American community and how specific it is towards us. So. Um, when he was asking about, you know, who your customer is and you're like, well, it's everybody, I, I kind of get what you're saying, you know, but to start early on with, you know, that, that first customer, like who is that person and to start in one place. So I'm just letting you know that I understand what you're saying. Um, so when, when you start reaching out and growing globally to different um, ethnic groups who have specific health care needs, you know, what is your strategy towards reaching towards different groups of people? You have 30 seconds. <laughs> okay, so uh, when we, so our customers at this time are, to be more specific, early adopters, people that are millennials, people that are already looking into keto diets constantly, and keto diet are, and nutrition is right now our segment because that's the segment that is being used and so I was looking at the market segment for that, and the wellness market right now is at a at four point not right now in 2017 it was 4.2 trillion dollars was the wellness market, and now uh, it has been growing at about 5.6 percent every year annually. So that's our biggest segment: early adopters, people who are uh, looking at weight loss, people who are visiting nutritionists and uh, focusing on diets consistently. We are in touch with nutritionists, um, so they they, they uh, try to also put it out to their uh, patients and clients so that way they have the right and going ba going to the different continents and different countries we try to focus on every ethnic group and try to study the trends for that particular population and then focus on that At, again this is going to be a little bit in the future right now we are focused in the no in North America however uh, as we go to different countries and continents and so on and so forth we've we have uh, we have been developing algorithms to study the trends for it and go there um, to each of those in the way that they would prefer. Instead of pushing it, we are trying to pull it. Okay, Josh is here showing me the watch. <laughs> All right, thank you. Yo, I'm, I'm actually booting you off the stage now. We're